Okay, here's a question. Do you and Sophie still talk? So I know you guys have a lot of questions about Sophie. This is about Jovan. Um, a lot of you guys are asking just how he is, like, what's the situation? What things do you do to help with missing Jothan? I feel like it would be so hard. Yes, it's very hard. Good more. actually, good very afternoon, everybody. I just got back from classes. It's freaking cold. I already don't have much motivation to do school. We've got only five more weeks left of school. Five weeks. This has been the fastest year of my entire life. Holy crap! Anyways, and then it doesn't help that it's literally so rainy outside and gloomy and just like blech. It's beautiful, like blech, you know what I mean? So it gives me like even less motivation to leave my apartment. So uh, yeah, I figured I would change it to some cozy, comfy clothing and I would just catch up with you guys kind of have like just a night in with me basically. I'll answer all of your guys' questions. We'll have a little girl talk. Maybe Flo will join us. She's in the bathroom right now. Um, so we have got a lot on our agenda today, but it's gonna be fun. First things first, I am gonna change out of this outfit. As much as I love jeans and shirts and looking cute, I love sweatpants more. So, I'll be right back. Into comfy clothing. And now we're getting in bed. Flo! <laughs> Flo has to go and do a workout right now that she really doesn't want to do. Don't judge us though, a lot of you guys are probably- 46. Yeah, it's 46 degrees. Um, when we go outside, I'll show you guys. It's How do you live in that? Chilly! Oh, girl, this is like warm compared to what it'll be like a month. Wow, not coming back. It's, yeah, I know, I know. So, I asked you, you guys a bunch of questions and while I'm answering you guys' questions, I'm also figuring out my grocery list, so. Don't mind me. First question I've got is, when are you leaving on a mission? So, before we answer that one, pre, pre answer. Oh, that looks so good. Is that the clue of pig? Can I see some it? it? Is it good? I don't know, I haven't tried it. It's cat food. This is flow. Can I try a bite of it? Yeah. I might go and get some of this before I go get dinner. Uh-oh. Try it. It's not bad, but it doesn't taste like normal Kahlua pig. Anyways, I am planning to serve a mission for our church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Yes, it is a mouthful. But basically, I know I've mentioned this a bunch, but basically a mission is where you spend one and 18 months to two years. 18 months for girls, two years for guys. I'm, I don't know why it's different. Um, you serve a mission, so you are called to a certain area in the world. It can be in the States, it can be outside of the States. There are certain areas that do not allow missionaries, which, like, that's for their own good. The country just does not want them, which is fine. And basically, we go and talk about Jesus Christ. We talk about um, the gospel, and we just bring people to his light, basically. They're also doing lots of service, helping those in their area, and just being a light to where they are basically. So I'm gonna be doing that. I hope to leave in July, which is as crazy as it, so it sounds, it's in eight months. Holy crap. I remember when it was in a year. <coughs> Guys, I'm just having my realization. I'm so excited. Okay, we're back. That took a lot longer than I thought, but I got my whole list done. I'm gonna do another question really fast while we are. Oh my goodness, okay. What season of Girl Gilmore Girls are you on? Who's your favorite character, couple, and why? Okay. First, obviously, my favorite character has to be Rory and Lorelai. They are my absolute favorite. I just love this like mother-daughter dynamo, dynamo, dynamic. I just love their characters and I just love, I don't know, I love them. Obviously, my favorite couple has got to be Logan and Rory. They are just so cute together. I love, oh, and um, I'm on season one. I just restarted it. I finished it like the last two weeks of school and I'm watching it again because I'm obsessed. So we're doing that. I'm gonna get some shoes on really fast. We're gonna get ready and we're gonna go to Walmart. Let's go. Nikes, it's freaking cold. This reminds me of like Christmas time back home though. So it's okay, cause that makes me happy. Luckily it's not raining, so that's good. But I would much rather be in my apartment. <gasps>
time to turn on the the heat extra high. There's a bunch of questions about college, so some questions are what major am I doing? I am currently a business major. I want to do a little more writing and stuff because things that are coming up that I am still working on, but I will talk about those later. I think I just need to stick with business because business is gonna be the most beneficial for me at the moment. I swear, this turn is always so scary because there's always cars everywhere. Look how beautiful it is. Somebody asked, is college hard? I am currently, last semester I took 13.5 credits and that was really easy, actually. But it was great, I'm glad I did that because I got to spend a lot more time with Jovan. So that was really awesome. So college is hard if I make it hard. Okay, here's a question. Do you and Sophie still talk? So I know you guys have a lot of questions about Sophie. Everything's good. That's all I'll say. Everything's good. I love Sophie to death. She's awesome. I wish she was here. Sophie, come back. Okay, question. How do you keep your skin so clear and your face or and your hair so pretty? Thank you so much. First of all, I'm very like weird about my hair because I never straighten it, curl it, nothing. Because my natural hair, I just am not all the way confident in that. See, I have some struggles too, y'all. <gasps> Wait, no way, it's gone. Sorry, okay, story time really fast. There's a motel right there. Me and my, my roommate, Flo, and another one of our roommates and me, we're all like, I wonder when that trailer's gonna end up like go being gone. That was yesterday and now it's gone. What? How crazy? Okay, so skincare. I wish I could help you on skincare, but I cannot. Guys, if I'm being honest, I don't I don't have a skincare. But there are two products that I swear by and I love them so much. It's a pink one. They're all from Target. The bl I have a black one and it's Biore. But other than that, I don't do anything. So I'm not too helpful. I feel like skincare routine, that's like something you have to figure out yourself, which sucks. It's, it's a really trial and error thing because everyone's skin is gonna be different. Hair I feel like is the same thing. You gotta trial and error with like shampoos and conditioners. I shampoo and conditioner my hair once a week, if not maybe twice a week if it's really greasy, but I keep it to that long. I do wash my body more, I promise you guys. I'm currently using Pantene. Pantene, yeah, Pantene. I love Pantene, but it's all up in the air. There you go. Sorry, that's not very helpful. Yeah. how much we spent. Take a guess, any guess. And we will go see. I'm gonna say about $100, maybe 115, that's my guess. We did it. I didn't even break 100, so. Proud of myself. I was very close. 99.13. That was good. We are not going back to Walmart the rest of the month. Let's go back to some questions. Hmm. This is about Jovan. Um, a lot of you guys are asking just how he is, like what's the situation? Jovan's on a mission. I mentioned this before, I'm not gonna go into it anymore. And yes, we are still dating. Everyone does things a little differently. Like when I've decided to wait, wait for him, so I'm not going to be going on dates. I think if it like came down to it and it was like something I really, really, really felt like I should, and maybe I would, but I don't feel that. And so he, this like was not his decision. I was, he was very, very 
supportive of me going on dates because he wanted me to get that experience and like just not feel captured and all that stuff. So he was sweet about it. So we are still dating. We are still boyfriend and girlfriend. I am still waiting for him. Now this person asked, what things do you do to help with missing Jothan? I feel like it would be so hard. Yes, it's very hard. Waiting for a missionary is no joke. Everyone says like, oh, it's so hard. And then everyone's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Waiting for a missionary is very, very hard because we were so, so, so close. We still are, but we went from like hanging out every single day. We were together 24 seven. Luckily in the summertime, we were, we had that little more, like a little more space to like help us and cushion us. So that actually helped a lot, which I'm very grateful for, but it's still so hard going from talking every day, FaceTiming all the time to only text once a week not even getting to FaceTime so it's hard but we make it work um, I think for the first couple weeks that I was away from him like the first couple weeks I tried to stop myself from listening to any sad music or any like playlists that reminded me like of him I tried not to go down that road of like the sadness right but I think it helped me to just not think about it. As hard as that is and as weird as that like sounds and very basic, I had to not think about it. I just tried to look at the positive sides like, oh my gosh, like it's almost Monday. Like I get to talk to him on Monday and everything, like it'll be good. Not like setting expectations, but like as it went on, it started getting like easier, easier like to a point. It still sucks and hard. Some things people told me that were really great tips was to like, like if you're looking back at the memories, look at them as great things. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy this happened. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for when he comes back. We can do more of these kinds of things or stuff like that. Everyone's brains are different. So that's basically what I did. I write him letters all the time. If I'm ever missing him a ton, I write him letters. I do this wonderful thing where um, when I'm missing him a lot or whatever, I buy him gifts. Cause I love making him happy, making him happy, makes me happy so those are things I do what do you do to relax yourself during your free time and after school um, I love to go and dance so I will go dance in um, the dance studio that we have it's not like a dance dance studio but it is like a room that has mirrors in it so I love to dance I actually love 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 writing I love to write stuff for a certain stuff thing and I love like creating stuff on Instagram. As weird as it sounds, I love working. I love making these videos. I've been terrible at it, but I swear I do love it when I find a good idea. I also love writing Jothan letters actually. I do that a lot, which I probably will do after this. Good idea. How do you stay on top of your grades and keeping them up? As simple as this sounds, I just do my homework. I try as hard as I can to just get my homework done right away. Just like, just go for it. Just like push through that terrible little amount where I do not want to do it. I'm just lazy and I don't, I don't want to do it and just get past that so that I can just get it done and be good. And then I can relax. So basically I like give myself rewards as weird as that sounds. All right, y'all, it is currently 11 p.m. You can't exactly see my phone, but I'm gonna clock out now. Um, I hope that answers some of you guys' questions. Keep the questions coming. Maybe I'll do another Q&A or another girl talk and answer more of your guys' type like questions on tips and tricks you guys wanna know. Um, we just had a girl talk ourselves. <laughs> Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm gonna go to bed now. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks.